Hi everybody. Uh, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write a simple but effective uh, keylogger in Java. So why Java? Java is a cross-platform uh, programming language and a platform that allows us to write code one time and execute that on multiple operating systems, for example, Mac, Linux, uh, Windows, basically wherever that support uh, JVM or Java Virtual Machine. So uh, that's, as you can see, it's really efficient for doing multiple operation, um, such as basically ethical hacking, because we don't need to adapt our code on a target uh, operating system. And um, that's nice. However, the downside of that is Java is uh, not like C++, it's not a system programming language. So in Java, essentially, we don't, um, we, we don't deal or we, don't, we, we have no access to the um, low-level APIs directly. So if you take a look at these um, figures here, there are some figures that um, you can find them on, um, on Google. Uh, by searching in Google and uh, here you can see the uh, architecture of uh, Google uh, architecture of uh, Java and here is the runtime and so on so the reason why actually we uh, have this uh, um, flexibility that run uh, write a code one time and execute on uh, multiple platform is because of the architecture of its uh, runtime environment or JVM JVM basically handle all this low level stuff and we only need to use this API and we, sh we then we are pretty much sure that our code work, uh, works basically perfectly on multiple operating system. Um, however, uh, JVM actually li limit us to not have access, uh, not basically provide us direct access to native methods and operating system to the hardware, uh, hardware basically uh, interrupts and so on, you know. So, however, it provides a, like an interface which is called JNI that uh, our Java program to JNI can access to all native methods and all low level, low level stuff. So, through JNI, we can also use, for example, we can write some very fast, efficient, you know. C++ classes, C++ code, and we can actually uh, invoke uh, those binaries or we can invoke a, a specific function or method within that C++ class. So C++ or assembly, any other low-level programming language. We can write, for example, DLLs and uh, libraries and then call them and so on. So basically we need JNI. However, when we want to write something very specific like keylogger, uh, we got to take this into consideration that this keylogger has to access to the operating system APIs, to low-level APIs, to be able uh, to hook other windows, other processes such as browsers, notepad, and so many other things, you know, and being able to hook them uh, and get this uh, keywords, you know, all the keyboard, uh, keyboards, you know, pushed keyboards and mouse and the keyboard events from them and basically steal them. Right. So in this case, actually, we somehow, with some extent, we depend on the target platform. So uh, to do that, actually, I prepared the code. As you can see, it's a short code. It's just less than seven, uh, 70. It has less than 70 lines of code. And uh, to do that, we need to um, import this um, specific library, JN, uh, and JNA uh, or... Um, um, yeah, or J native hook, uh, and uh, we need basically uh, these classes. To do that, you can actually download its uh, JR file and add to the external libraries, or later on you can actually come uh, download the whole project from my GitHub repository. So I try to make it as simple as possible. So we grab all this information, we actually uh, hook and listen to the key keepers in uh, other processes and then we save them in a simple plain text file, keys.txt. Um, however, in the advanced version, we can actually use uh, encrypted files. I mean, instead of plain text, we can use encrypted files, and we can also uh, specify which uh, uh, process are interesting for us. For example, one of the things that black hat hackers use is uh, like browsers, because they want to steal like email information and so on. 
or maybe a specific banking program or something like that. However, please note that the purpose of this video is not learning uh, destructive actions and using and exploiting these techniques. Uh, I'd like to share you my knowledge uh, and teach you how to do this stuff uh, in order to know how this malware work and being able to detect and analyze them and basically uh, improve the security, improve the overall cyber security, right? So that's the purpose. However, we, we need to know how it works. So anyway, here's a simple structure. Um, and as you can see in our uh, main class, we um, we need to register a native hook. This is the first operation we need to do. And then basically we add native K listener to allow our process, our Java program, uh, basically um, go and look for other processes in the operating system right uh, because the other process like browsers are not the are not executing within the JVM um, therefore it's important to um, register our, uh, our hooker and uh, listen uh, to the other processes right okay good um so and here uh, how it works i mean the, the structure is very simple and illustrative i think it's self-expressive and i don't need to add more comments here so yeah add this file with this structure of course you can make it better uh, but this is i think good for the sake of education and then we run the key lager and uh, if we run that and we go for example to browser and here we search for something we say okay this is a um, secret key um, just just an example for example no, and then say for example i also want to test with another application and say notepad um, uh, i write notepad and say one two three um, then I come back here. As you can see, our key, uh, key actually created a text file and things are there. So we can stop that or we don't need to even stop our process because it's working here. And then we can open this. And as you can see, you know, here all are these keys actually saved here along with these uh, keys that they are basically pressed on, on the keyboard. So you can actually specify that, make it better, uh, make it more advanced. You can target a specific uh, um, application such as, such as a web browser. And then you can, for example, make a better formatting. You can, of course, need to, it's better to, uh, I mean, in real world cases, actually, they don't save it in a plain text. Usually they save it in like uh, encrypted files and then and they use some uh, REST APIs to constantly uh, submit this information to the hacker's host server, right? So yeah, that was it. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Please write down your question in the comment section and um, please subscribe, like this video and uh, share it if you like. So this is a new channel. So I will be appreciated if you consider to support me. And yeah, thank you very much. Have a nice time. Good luck.